Welcome to Hestia Mods. While buying a motorcycle is just the starting point of your riding journey, it is often underlooked that safety gears like these riding jackets out here are very 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 important for you on every step of your ride. Whether you're commuting, whether you're going on longer rides, whether you're even just casually enjoying your weekend rides with your buddies or even going out to meet them. Whether you're going out on long expeditions like Leh Ladakh or just casually thinking of what to do with your next ride. Riding gears like these are very crucial to keep yourself safe every single time you go out for a spin. For if you're in a car, you are protected by a cage all the time. If you're in a two-wheeler, this is the only point of contact. And often when we fall, it's either parts of our body which get exposed and they're the first points of contact whenever we go down on a motorcycle. Touch wood, but these are the first things that you need to remember before buying your next riding jacket. Number one, price. Number two, is your purpose. Well, why did I say price? Because if you take a motorcycle worth 5 lakhs, I would personally recommend to spend about 15 to 20 percent of the entire MRP of the motorcycle on buying yourself a riding gear. Now, why would I say so? If you buy a motorcycle worth 1 lakh rupees, if you spend about 15,000 rupees on buying your entire riding gear, this will ensure that you are safe. How is it so? Buying a jacket will set you back about 6000 rupees buying a good set of riding pants will cost another 5000 to 6000 rupees a good pair of gloves will cost you about 2000 rupees and a good helmet will cost you another 6000 rupees all in all 15 to 20000 for that particular motorcycle is suggested because the harder you fall on a bigger motorcycle the harder you actually go down but this irrespective of that if you are a fast rider, if you ride anything more than your street or freeway speeds, you will need to invest further more on to your riding adventures. Well, the purpose of your riding jacket is very important, being the second one. Well, if you're going out commuting or even if it's for short office daily spins, then I would say there are different kind of jackets which are available that will solve its purpose just limited to that. There are different jackets available for your adventure rides, going off-road trails and also different jackets which are available for your small track days too. Well, why are there different jackets for everything and why not one single jacket to do everything together all at once? That would have been cool, right? There are some hybrid jackets which are available like these which can do many things together but a jack of all trades is a master of none. But master, better than the master of one is something which applies to riding jackets as well. But I would not really suggest interchanging their roles. Well, some of these jackets out here have perforations, have a different set of liners. For example, some of these are sportier. Uh, some of these are meant to have rain liners inside specific for all weather conditions. Some of these are better suited with hydration pack capabilities and these are meant for longer adventures. While some of them like the ones with DSG out here, uh, they also come with a race hump. They also have a very good track day capabilities as well and something which you can use on sportier rides too. But then again, these different kind of riding jackets have varying comfort levels and I would not really suggest you to interchange between the roles. So coming back to the price and purpose, let us interchange them and now we have purpose. Now our purpose, if it is adventure, you can go for an adventure jacket like this from BBG or DSG or any of the companies that you have out here, make sure that it has removable liners if it is waterproof liner or it is breathable because if you go on longer rides these are one of the main things that you will see you will not see what color it is you will not see what kind of uh, zippers it has or what kind of stickers you can add on it the thing that you will see most on longer rides is practicality because once you are down on the saddle for no more than six hours all you see is where am i getting more air where am i feeling more comfortable and where you will feel more safer and secure down the road especially if you are riding a lot on night drives you need reflective panels everywhere you also need to have plenty of accessory pockets to store some more things whenever you are on the go and at the same time you would want something that is rugged enough to stand the test of time this comes to the adventure part now to the street and weekend rides you have a totally different set of needs you won't really be riding on rainy seasons you will mostly be riding on day times and for that dsg out here makes amazing quality gears and equipments uh, Things like these come with a very sporty race hump to make it a little bit more aerodynamic. They come with variety of different color options. They have plenty of external armors and also come clad with C rated armors too. These are more than enough for your street rides and considering the kind of motorcycle that you own, I would request to 
upgrade your armors with level 2 or level 3 inserts if possible well there you go this is a small gist of the kind of jackets that is available and what kind of jackets that you should really wear on your next ride follow us hit that subscribe button and enjoy the world of riding a little more safely